hello guys it's mariam again welcome back to the channel and today i've got a cleaning video so this is the kitchen yeah loads of motivation so everything is everywhere so this took me about three and a half hours and this is the utility area that usually has a lot of things i don't know where they come from and why they pile up in this corridor so uh yes as i was saying three and a half hours to four hours that is how much I can do really in a day of cleaning. I'll never go over four hours. So just taking you around the house to see how everything is scattered everywhere. I'm hoping this is going to motivate you so that we can clean together. So this is the play area for the kids. The kids always tied up this area so they will need to do so. All I need are probably more pee and sweepy and more pee. So going to, okay, we're still in this area. Going to the corridors, we're in the middle of doing the corridor. Straight to the sitting, to the lounge, dining area. This doesn't show, but this was really messy. And my son is the one who done all the sweeping. So all I did in this area was to come and mop. And yes, he's, he's old enough to do this, to tie it up. I told him to tie it up everywhere. So all I did here is just to mop, really. So enjoy. Let's clean together. The kitchen area usually takes me the longest to clean and I usually spend about just under two hours. I try to minimize it to one hour but it's still the longest to clean. Again I'm still struggling with editing cleaning videos because they're so long so obviously you won't see me do certain things but I did most of them and it took me as I said before just under four hours three and a bit I'm still using the um, same pro cleaning products. I haven't changed them. I find them that they work very well for me. I do not buy, I try not to buy any new ones until I've used everything up. I used to be a product junkie, but I don't do that anymore. And I try to, um, to use like about three to four products per bathroom or kitchen, stuff like that really. So there's no change there. Um, I've still got my method. I've had it for about, for about four months. Goes a long way. So this is the pink stuff that I'm using for the cooker. And I use that. It doesn't scratch the glass because I was quite gentle with it. The pink stuff is so great around the home. I uh, can't recommend it enough really.
I didn't um, clean the full shower like within the actual screen the closure because it wasn't that bad so I just cleaned the tree and a little bit at the bottom so but this I usually do it on a daily basis kind of a thing but it needed the tree needed to kind of like you know get a bit of a clean on this day As I said before, my son had already swept the floor, used the vacuum cleaner as well to do it. He's 12 years old, he can do it. Yeah, with a lot of prompting. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I pick up a few bits and bobs, but he gets, uh, he get, he, he's getting better. And he usually does mop the floor with the spray mop, but when I use this bucket mop, I prefer to, 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 to mop the floors. I'm just thinking about these white flows. I'm thinking, can I use bleach on them? You know, just thinking. Anybody <laughs> has got white flows? So I'm thinking, because like, okay, we don't really, we don't use shoes in our house, full stop. But I'm thinking, can I use bleach on these flows? Just because they're white to keep them super white? Yeah. Same in this area, the small boys did all the tidying up, the toys, so all I did was sweep up a little bit of a vacuum and then I mopped. The utility area is like a damping zone, I'm always tidying up, that is a lot of laundry, laundry I need to do. So I've done a bit of, again, lift and move things around. So guys, while I was editing this video, I realized that I wore my top inside out. I'm so exhausted! inside out for the whole day when i woke up thank you guys for tuning in because i forgot to thank you when i was editing this video so i'll see you in my next video watch to the end thank you bye so it's all done i started drying my clothes so i don't put them inside the cabinet when they're wet because they smell so i've got that tip on YouTube is all done. This is the kitchen. Yeah, and reality is, look at the kids what they did. Sugar all over the place as soon as I, I had finished. And those wires, they're just driving me crazy. I don't know what to do with that situation, but we have to do that. So that is the kitchen. So, corridor. My son did the tidying up per usual. Recycling. This corridor tends to have random things. I don't know. Um, well, yeah. Radiator. My basket. It's supposed to be the utility space. So I've got ironing to do. Distractions. So ironing to do. That is tomorrow. I can't do it today. It's a bit untidy here, but uh, I'm exhausted. The bathroom. Yeah, it's all done. The lighting is better on the other side. Random scarf there. But it's done. This is going on the pile of washing that I need to do. That is the pile of washing I need to do. But it's clean and tidy. Yeah. Soon the kids are going to come back and start messing it up. So yeah, 
all done. That is like about three washes. I need to do play area. My kids always tied up, so my son that is what that is his tidying up is done. <laughs> yeah, made it all nice and fancy. Yeah, they always put away their toys. Yeah, that is the reading area. That that table is always messy. Their little tent. In the middle of this, whatever you see here. Okay, we go in here. Done. Okay, best. Done. Oh, right in. Okay. So this is the lighting from the other side. No point of me tidying up all those <coughs> those cushions. It's the weekend, so yeah. This is better than the usual. My plant is a flourishing. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. This one is just dying. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm a bit obsessed about plants these days. I didn't touch upstairs. Yeah.